upcoming is a very important concept which is always include and or exclude it, which we did also in case of permutation. If we revive that, suppose M terms have to be definitely excluded in case of a particular permutation. That means the R of them have to be arranged out of N minus M. If you remember this, that means you need to choose R out of N terms out of which M will not be included. So you choose them in N minus M PR ways. Suppose M has to be always included. Then the number of ways you're going to do is R times N minus M P R minus M because M of them have been chosen. The remaining R minus M will be chosen in N minus M ways and arranged in R ways. So the total number of arrangements is this. First you select them in N minus M, R minus M and then you further arrange them in R ways. Now much the same way in case of combination, in case a particular M term is excluded, then it is going to be N minus M CR. That means R have to be chosen out of N minus M. And suppose M is, this is for always excluded. And suppose M will always be included. That means you already selected M out of R. The remaining R minus M have to be chosen out of N minus M. In this, the factor R is not featuring because it doesn't involve arrangement. So that's the difference between a combination. Is this example, this comparison beautifully differentiates between permutation and combination because here there is an R ways of arranging. Here the arrangement is not important because all the various arrangements turn out to be one single selection. Hence, here it is going to be N minus M, C, R minus M ways in which a per 2M of them are always included. So, see for example here, suppose out of n items R has to be selected, M always to be elected, uh, included, then R minus M, the remaining terms, that is R minus M, have to be picked out of n minus M. Out of n items, R has to be selected, M to be always included, that means excluded, I'm sorry, that means out the number of terms that are available for selection is n minus m, but you need to select all r out of this n minus m. So, hence we have n minus m cr. <clears throat> there are lots of interesting examples based on this. Let's see how we can attack those kind of situations.